stars There is so much love and joy We like to go to Do you want to do one more? What I want to do is something people want to hear. Get rid of this guitar. Get a keyboard player, electric, Europop. Sorry, sweetie. It's just not gonna happen. You know the boss wants to keep the record just as it is. Cause he's asleep. He's listening to lullabies. This folk sings is doing nothing for my wonderful career. Comrade Horshev, please understand. I need my chance at fame, just as you had yours. Mikal, the magnificent magician, when I was but a girl. Excellent, my good man. Well, oh, this is excellent. 162 beats per minute average. This one of the high intensity workouts on. Well, three mile bike ride, is that for you? Three mile ride. Let's go fire. Oh, what a rush. <laughs> Outstanding. Come on. You wanted to see us, Mr. Silverman? Christopher with you? Yes, sir. But don't just stand there. You're bleeding. Shaving cut. I'm impressed. What do you two know about Project 38D? <laughs> Actually, I am a legman myself. Of course you are, Roger. You do excellent legwork. Get that intel out on the street and online. Well, that's why you're here, to protect wherewithal from hackers. Now, Christopher. It's Project 38D, that an anti-piracy program where with was working on. You've been paying attention. You two are going to take our program to the industry at the Technicians and Artists Conference in Las Vegas this weekend. Time's up on piracy. File sharing was just a bee sting compared with international piracy. Goddamn pirates stealing our program before it even drops here, and then they file sail it overseas. But not with Project 38D. I'm all done losing 25 million a year. We don't know enough to sell this program. Look, I'm, I'm sending a, a demo guy to the conference. He'll handle all the presentations and the sales. There is only one copy of the programme, but it has to be there in case there's a glitch with the presentation. Christopher, you're going to have the one and only programme master. Mr Silverman. Why me? <laughs> Mr Christopher Ingersoll Anderson, whose resume I have read, by the way. Don't tell me you're not an expert on physical security, because I know better. The program is completely unprotected. It's never been out of the lab where it can be stolen and duplicated. But I think it's going to be safe in your hands. Saturday night, 
after the TNA conference finds out what the programme can do, crooks are going to break in here, turn this place over, not find the programme and not hurt anyone. And then the penny will drop and they'll come after our man in Las Vegas. And that's? Christopher Ingersoll Anderson. Understand? Oh, yeah. Technicians and Artists Conference 2021 attendees. You want me to research all these companies? Yeah, just those north of the Danube. <laughs> but that's uh, a third of the world. But that's where the pirates roam free. Look, just memorise the photos of those cutthroats and, and walk and chew gum, all right? Don't you think you can watch the bad guys' moves and just play simple charm, boys? Look, just, just greet our customers and invite them to partner in our anti-piracy efforts. You wanted to see me, sir? I have no choice. You make a lot of money from wherewithal pirating the music. You can't make a honest living by selling Russian folk music, but we are number one in selling stolen music to the third world. Wherewithal has uh, come up with this anti-piracy device. As soon as it becomes available, our business is gone. So. When you are performing in Las Vegas, you will attend the Technical and Artistic Conference, where the sale of this wherewithal invention will begin. Find wherewithal. Look carefully into their greedy faces. One of those fiends has the master of the anti-piracy device. Get it into your magic hands. We've made provision for your assistant. Who will it be? I don't know. Can I have some more time, please? There is no time. You have eight hours. And Horshoff, choose this assistant wisely. Make sure she's the right girl for the job. I expect. Nothing less than success. What is it you want, Inosenka? Mr. Horshev, I need change. Record pop music instead of this folk things. If I do not, my wonderful career will stay stalled. And if I don't do something, mine won't exist. I lose everything, fail in my new mission. Are you in trouble, Mr. Horshev? Mm, not if you know someone who is beautiful and a spy. A spy. Unbelievable. I've been ordered to America, to Las Vegas, to steal a computer program from the Where We Told Music Company by whatever means. Mr. Tiranov wants me to do everything fast, like one of my old card tricks. But he also wants me to take a beautiful woman with me to be a distraction. Well, I do not know a singer alive who wouldn't want to go to Las Vegas. Mr. Horshev, do you not think I'm beautiful? I also come from family spies. Mother and father, both KGB, high-ranking positions. 
You should see my mother's collection Asian butterfly knives. She was exotic weapons collector. She also compromised senior British official when she was baked in honey trap. Mm. Who, who was your father? My father was the best the KGB has ever seen. For his final mission, he was chosen to prevent, by extreme force, a traitor's defection to America. Um, wait, wait a minute. Was this in uh, 2012? Yes, and it was not public relation. It was vital to Russia that the Americans be stopped. Cut the nonsense, Inosenka. This fiasco is famous. Your father came in through the kitchen window and he broke every dish in the sink and then he was chased by a little dog up the stairs where he got shot by you know who uh, who escaped to join the New York City Ballet in the USA yes the vicious dogs oh the tragedy you are dreaming, Inosenka. He was athlete. He moved like cat. He was fearless. A true hero to the state. More like a zero of the state. Wake up, Inosenka. Let's try reality, shall we? Perhaps your mother would like to come along with me. Maybe her experience would prove invaluable. <laughs> What's wrong, dear girl? It's just... Me and Mother don't work well together since Farzah died. <laughs> you and I just handle this. Inosenka, yes or no? Will you straighten up? Come out of the fantasy world? while you are dealing with me? Yes, I will be the best. I am the best. I think you will do just fine. Notes on our arrangements. Not to worry. Just writing down my financial outlay for breakfast. Unless you want to memorize these numbers and remind me later. <laughs> remind you. Now, we wouldn't want to be forgetting anything important, would we? Keep it that way. Don't download it or get it anywhere near a computer that's connected to the internet. And don't let anybody touch it apart from you and the demo guy in case of an emergency. Think of it this way. The millions of that little device is going to save us and millions that it's going to cost those pirates. So, at this TNA conference, sir, on a scale of one to ten, What's our chance of physical harm? We'll be fine, Mr. Silverman. I'm glad you think so. He's got me as nervous as a cat. Good. Stay on your toes. Come on, Roger. Just imagine Las Vegas. The clubs, the shows, the beautiful women in bikini by the pool. And we're not in trouble until our announcement reveals what we're with all has to sell. Christopher, don't spare Roger. He's Mr. Intel. He can imagine the word was out on the program before it first hit. Imagine that there are spies everywhere. Now, all you gentlemen have to do is remember that. Easy for you two. I really think she is the one to use. She seems to have no inhibitions. 
She is attractive enough to sway any man. And please understand, the girl is special. She is quite an actress. <laughs> but can she sing? You'll be better to work with the folk dancers. She can sing all right. We have her under contract as a singer. What I mean is, she's astonishing. She's absolutely the best liar I've ever met in my life. Interesting. Well, in that case, perhaps she can perform some special research. Darling! What great place to meet here in Park. I thought I'd never find you. Excuse us, Comrade Hoshef. Comrade Innocenka, what do you feel about what Comrade Horshev has proposed to you? <laughs> Comrade Horshev hasn't proposed anything to me. He said you need spy. I said I can do easily. I come from family spies. It's in my genes. <laughs> in your genes? <laughs> I'm sure there is only room for you in your genes. <laughs> 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 See, <laughs> I have great ability to be spy. <laughs> what man could say no to this? When you put it like that, I see what you mean. <laughs> when you assist Mikael, the magnificent magician in Las Vegas, you will also sing with our dance troupe. In the event that you attract attention from truly wealthy American men, well, then uh, let us add another aspect to your assignment, if you see what I mean. Please, <laughs> spell it out for me. <laughs> Our leaders are certain that there is a group of ultra-rich Americans who make key financial and industrial decisions. The members of this group, Whisper, call themselves the American Central Economic Committee. And so? And so you, my very attractive daughter of spies, <laughs> <laughs> if you were to read such rich American men in Las Vegas, then, uh, you may find a way to follow up on these rumors and extract secret information from such men. Well, this could be fun. Fun? <laughs> Your solemn duty, do you see? Collect your things for your trip. The car will pick you up soon and uh, take you to the airport. I'm already packed. <laughs> Indeed, you are. <laughs> well? What do you think? She has physical attributes to make a really good agent. But she's not the sharpest pencil in the box. But she will be the perfect pawn for you. She will attract just the right amount of attention. To leave you free to go and obtain what we need. I take it you have secured your position with Mr. Warren Tenbevel and in his company. Of course, not a problem. Once Tinderfall saw my credentials, he was eager to hire me. <laughs> da. Well, everything is in place. You got a little package? Yeah, the package is right here. It's a relief to carry such a small container. It's amazing how much info you can get on those, especially the ones that hold several dividends. 
was that? Right. She picks up a man with such a nice car, and I end up in a van with no air conditioning. In the next life, I'm coming back as a woman. <laughs> when you're ready to enjoy a real Highland Peg Lassie, I'll be waiting at the bar by the pool. from Scotland. We met at the airport and he was kind enough to give me a ride. And, uh, yes, the pleasure was all mine. To my usual sweet Clifford. Better concentrate on what we are here for, comrade. This is a job, not silly games. I was only trying to be social. Did Comrade Taranov not tell you what he sent me here to do? He wants me to speak to a super rich, wealthy American man. Yeah, and do you believe that Sir Weber from Scotland is an American? Oops. You know, Senka, we must focus on men from where we call music. I already recognize one here. But I haven't recognized that fellow who's with him over by the elevators downstairs. But that's quite like him. He's my type. Mm. He's briefing you. Sorry to interrupt, but are you here for the TNA convention? We are here as entertainers in your sea spray lounge. We are with the Russians are revolting review, but we are also to be given artist passes at the conference. Oh yes, we've been expecting a magician, is it? Really? I mean, I see the top hat, but you're the star. It's um, an act. Do you mind dance with singing? Do you mind? The young ladies received an upgrade to the top floor master suite courtesy of Sir Thomas McShear. And that young lady would be you. Yes, darling, I miss the Nobar. You know, sing at the Nobar. The name means innocence. Of course, of course it does. Ready to register here. Good for you. Fill this out. Don't worry about that silly old form. <laughs> um, you're in room 1605. Uh, I'll have your bag sent straight up to you. Melvin. Melvin. Oh, Melvin. Please escort our guest to the elevator and then meet her at 1605 in approximately three minutes. Thank you. Thank you. This place makes my room look like a broom closet. <laughs> Are you going to give me instructions for Mixer tonight, or would you rather complain? At the Mixer tonight, you will distract those two men from where with the music. Happily. And you? I will go into Roger St. George's room and search for the program. I will need at least half an hour. Okay. You seem concerned. 
you must use some discretion not attract attention and yet captivate both Saint George and his friend. His friend, Christopher Ingersoll Anderson. How did you? Melvin, Melvin de Barhart. Christopher Anderson is in room 1504. His friend George the Dragon Slayer is in room 1502. See, I told you, I have good skills. Oh, Vinosenka, I am relieved. Take a look and you will love to take a chance. Cossack dancers, bring your passion. Watch them spin and twirl and kick. Здравствуйте. Hello. Is that the guy? Bingo. I must present the Russians are revolting review. These artists are from Onion Dome Studios and everyone is welcome to this preview show. Now, meet this singer. Ida Senka! We bend the knee and kick our legs Just for you we spin and squat We bend our knees and kick the leg Just for you, cause you're so hot Hello, I'm Inosenka. What have we here? Gin and tonic. Ooh, my favorite. You'll have to buy me one later. Now that sounds very Brazilian. Who is that woman? Marushka? Marushka, is that you? Marushka is my mother. Did you know her? Years ago. You have the... I mean, you bear a striking resemblance. Christopher Anderson. Mr. Nover. Innocenka de Nover. The name means... Innocence. I know. You are an artist. I saw you singing downstairs. You spin a squat, right? Because you're so hot. Right. Hold the lift. So, Inosenka, do you have a position at Onion Dome Studios? Usually sitting or standing. I think he means what do you do at Onion Dome Studios? Oh, <laughs> I'm a singer. I also play violin and guitar, but not all at the same time. Now I have a question for you. 
How did you know my mother? We worked in similar jobs. Now paths crossed a few times. We weren't really friends. You understand? More what you might call business acquaintances. He knew her well enough to think I was her. It wasn't my face he was looking at. Oh, I say. My mother was KGB. You were FBI, CIA, NSA. CIA, actually. Not anymore. I'll retire. I work for Word With All Music now. Right. On my recommendation, and the stroke of genius that's turning out to be. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I lost. I've uh, forgotten my business cards. I'll be right back. Wait, Roger. <laughs> Don't go. If you leave now, all the baby bubbles will die in the champagne. Come dance with me. You know we Russians love to dance. Miss spin is quiet, Raj. <laughs> Go for it. I really would, but... Go for it, Raj. But I really need my business cards. I think I'm naked without them. Uh, free, please. Conference and attendees book that I've seen your picture. They put me in there a photo? Yeah, and quite a good one too. In fact, I think we're all in that book. Well, I'm Mikhail Horshev. I produce for Orion Dome Studios. Yeah, I'm Roger St. George. I work for Well With All Music. What to do? My key card won't work. Yeah, that's because this room is mine and not yours. Oh. Oh, my. I'm half blind. How stupid of me. I must have gotten off on the wrong floor. I'm 1402, not 1502. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure it's a common mistake. Well, does it die? Get to your room. One floor down. That is Inesenka. Her hand like can't dance while he's wandered to canopy table over there. See the gentleman? Mikhail Horshev. Who's that she's dancing with? I can't see. Have you found Roger St. George or Christopher Anderson? I only just got here. Comrade Horshev, my name is Anya. Tiranov sent me, I'm here to help you. Have you made any contact yet? No, don't look at me. We must remain strangers. 
But Tiranov, why did he send you? Are you spying on me? <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm here only to help you. But you must keep it secret. Don't blow my cover. Have you met anyone from Wherewithal? Yes. Roger St. George. He's right down there at the other side of this bar. I believe it's his partner, Christopher Anderson, who's dancing with Inosenka. Wow. She works fast. She is consummate professional, like myself. <laughs> Why else would Comrade Tiranov pick me for this mission? You know, Senka is following my orders. Good. Well, then there is one thing you must understand. We must keep my identity completely secret. <clears throat> yes, of course. I am professional. <laughs> I can keep a secret. I'm so, so glad. Excuse me, uh, Christopher Anderson? Yes? I wonder if I could have a word in private. I'm a little busy now. Maybe later. We have a mutual friend, Mr. J. Plymouth Silverman. He felt it very important that we meet. So you're the man? I'm the man. Meet me in the lobby in 10 minutes. I'll bring my colleague, Roger St. George. Perfect. I feel like I could do something stronger than coffee. Trust me, you feel like bed. Right, oh? Back to the ladies. I'm in bed alone. You just sort of had some champagne, you know? My advice is hit the hay ride so we can function tomorrow. Pretty, please. Well, so you can go back in there and hit on a Nisanka. <laughs> Beware, my friend. That little bit of Russian caviar could prove worse than indigestion. Believe me, I'll be up earlier in the morning than will. I'm going to, um... My uncle is visiting me. He's my favorite uncle. Uncle Stanley? Christopher! What a surprise! Good to see you. Good to see you, uncle. Good to see you. It's been a long time. Uncle, you've only been there for six weeks. Yeah, but it feels like forever. Some of those old fuddy-duddies, I can't even tell if they're still breathing. Well, I guess it's not easy for a um, young stud like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why you're such a success. <laughs> Sum up a man's situation straight away. So, uh, how's the convention going? Great. Um, I met this woman from Onion Dome Studios. Uh, she's a singer. Her name is uh, Inesenka. <laughs> I know. Uh, her name means what you think it means. She's beautiful, though. Oh. Planning to mix, mix a little pleasure with pleasure? No, Uncle. I'm a um, professional. But she does have a big... Well, uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, though, nephew. Do take careful, though, yeah? Fancy work, huh? Isn't that the Russian girl from Onion Dong? Yeah, I believe it is. Her name is Inosenka. <laughs> Innocent, my lying eyes. Uh, maybe we should introduce ourselves. Well, I've met her, and I can introduce you. But FYI, our friend Christopher, he's expressed an interest. And who might this be? 
This is Mr. Warren Tinderfall. He's a colleague. He's here to promote our new products. That's it. <laughs> you Americans have no romance. That's all the romance you get. That's enough, right? I really can't say. We were only just now introduced. Chris, how's Uncle Stanley? Great. He's getting a Ferrari golf car. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, of course. It's... Who is this Uncle Stanley? Well, I've met him, and if anyone can, Chris's Uncle Stanley can. Darling, you must let me meet him. <laughs> Busy day, lady. I've got a little lunch time in 20 minutes. If you find any clothes by then, meet me in the lobby. Christopher, my American darling, you'll be hopelessly in love with me by tomorrow night. Hotel security, Mr. Nova. What is the meaning of this? Relax, Cheeky. I've come for your boss. For Mika. Tear enough. He got me this hotel security gig. It's amazing what clout that guy has. Anyway, I've got a job for you. A job? You get me Anderson's room key card. And don't tell me he keeps it with him. He's got an extra bit in his room. And how am I going to do this? Honey, your style of dress, looks, or maybe undress. You catch my drift. You spend enough time in room 15 and 4, Mr. Anderson, well, he might just let you inside. You see here, donors to donuts. Mr. Anderson left you, but you just left yours. You spend enough time in room 1504, and when you do, replace it with this blank. He won't notice the real one missing. That is smart. You know us. You see, we're the ones who are trying to impress Tiernoff. Now don't go blabbing the horse, Chef. I was never here. I was never here. You don't want Horshev to know you was here? I was never here. It's simple, really. Wherewithal Music will keep all the codes in their vault and will only give them out to those who can show proof of purchase, which the program will provide for you. The program prevents use by anyone without the proper key code, and that will be available from the Wherewithal Music internet connection. Any questions we can answer for you tonight? Question is, will the program interfere with product quality? And the answer is no, not at all. The program becomes a hidden code within the product base. Any other questions? Thank you, gentlemen, and thank you. There you are. I'm Frina. Why don't you let me buy you a really nice dinner? I thought you'd never ask. Why don't we go to your room? Or the room service? Mr. Nova. Mr. Nova. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Just as well as you do.
I'm sorry. Did I wake you? It's fine. I'm a light sleeper. <laughs> you have to tinkle, did you? Tinkle. <laughs> what is this tinkle? You had to pee. Oh, pee. <laughs> How cute. Yes, I had to pee. Is there something on your mind? You're so sensitive. So, how do I say? Intuitive. So no, I was thinking of home. About Russia? Why? How different everything is there compared to here. It makes me sad. There's too many poor people and too many rich Russian bureaucrats bragging of prosperity when there is nothing of the kind. <sighs> How I wish I could take back the secret of your economy. <laughs> so that's why every time you hear about a man you never met, you say, is he rich? Yes. <laughs> Chris, don't you see? Any wealthy American man could reveal the secret to me. Of our what? You know, your secret central economy committee. It's a wonderful group of people who direct the economy. Oh. That Central Economic Committee. <laughs> Inesenka, between the two of us here, you're the only one who heard about them. But wealthy Russian man Believe in your central economic committee. Wealthy Russian men believe in the firebird too. All right, Ensink. I'll take it to meet a man who knows about money. If anyone can tell you about this secret tentacle of yours, it's my Uncle Stanley. How did you sleep? Alone? My god. My god what? You're looking at me. How do I look? I think the expression used out here in the American West is... Road hard and put up wet. So why did it take to know the jealousy? Not jealousy. Concern. You are literally sleeping with the enemy. I am figuratively Keeping my enemies closer. And what you're gonna do is she appears smarter than she looks, figures out where you're hiding that little package. Raja, I don't get it. She doesn't seem to be interested at all in a little package. <laughs> I absolutely am not gonna go there. It's just like that mission in Croatia. No, no, she was blonde. Huh? Mm. She brunette? Blonde. Was she blonde? Mm hmm. Mm. Anyway. I will have another search this afternoon. Unless you're telling me that you already found the program. Ugh, no, I haven't found it. But I have done what I was sent here to do. I now have him eating out of hand. Oh, congratulations to you and to him, or at least to your hand. What about our mission? Our mission will be spectacular success in two ways. If you don't mind, I'll explain later. If you don't mind, we are making a show tonight. Later, in fact. And uh, I'd like you to learn these lyrics and pay attention to the cutout lights, especially. That's when you switch off the lights and I steal the program from Anderson while I perform my magic in the dark. Do you think Anderson is aware 
Песенки за вера в мисто нова. Но сен като нова. Да не ми. Бизнес. Монки бизнес. Do you think she will steal the program or Khrushchev will? If it takes brains to steal it, she won't. If it takes nerve, Khrushchev won't. So it will be up to me. <laughs> Do you think Anderson has the program? Anderson is smart, practical, under our noses. He keeps it where he can protect it best. It's in a pocket. Excuse me, I have to take this one. <laughs> yes, JP. What's your report, country? <sighs> your boys are top professional. We haven't had our breakthrough yet. Hasn't made her move? Doesn't matter. Tied to security is kept on a little package. Darling, this would have to be the first time I ever hired people who are too good at doing their jobs. Look, I'll set it up. I'll let it be known that everything is going super smoothly. If and when you call up with a problem to solve, you'll get cooperation. You really think that's going to work? I know my job. You do yours. Да. What is your report? Little Miss Innocence had her opportunity to get the room key guard last night. I'll know more later. But it's only two days before the conference ends. I gave Horshoff a hacking badge that will enter every door, apart from the big one at the Vatican. Let's work with Horshoff. The only way I work with that Horshoff fool is the one, two, three. One, I steal the program and get my money. Or two, you transfer my money and send proof that you did it. Or three, I send Horshaw to the bank, get my money and give him the program. You just transfer that money in US dollars and none of that rubles crap. Okay, US dollars it is. Just get the program. Chris, that has got to be the stupidest story I've heard in my life. You want to tell her the truth or give her some cockamamie nonsense to make her happy? Look, she's very sweet. She'll listen if you explain a little Wall Street to her. And I'm sure you'll like her. But what do you say if I bring her today? Oh, what the hell. Might be kind of fun. All right, I'm ready when you are. Well, you told me she was pretty, but you, my dear, are stunning. It's my pleasure to meet you, Mr. Leffingfield. Oh, please, everyone calls me Uncle Stanley. Chris here tells me that you're interested in learning about American business practices. Yes, 
it's amazing what you have here. In Russia, we have the resources and the hard-working people, but we just can't get the economy to... Uh... To thrive? Yes. That's right, you can't. Well, I can give you some lessons. I was in with some pretty big players. In the Central Economic Committee. How did you hear about them? I'm sorry, I spoke out of turn. <laughs> it's not a polite subject. No, it's, it's, it's okay. It's just, we don't like to talk about that with, uh, with people we just met. Please, don't take offense. No, no, don't worry about it. So, what, uh, what can we do for you personally? Onion Dome Studios has me in a bit of a, a rut. rut. It's making me sing the folk music. I want to sing the, the popular commercial songs. Well, I know a few people in the music industry. It's a very tough business. Are you any good? Yes. I'm great. I'm performing tonight at 9 p.m. in the Sea Breeze Lounge. <laughs> uncle Stanley, you should come see me for yourself. I just think it might not be that easy for my uncle to pick up from here and trot off to the strip. Right. Um, I wasn't thinking. So you shouldn't. Uncle Stanley gets to go wherever he wants, because he's <laughs> Uncle Stanley. <laughs> I'd be delighted to come and see you this evening, my dear. I'll need some reservations, please. And you, Miss Innocence, you need to understand. If we're meant to work together, you and I, then you need to do whatever I tell you. I will. Really? Yes, of course, yes, I will. Even if I tell you to uh, drive a red Ferrari? <laughs> <laughs> I love America. I would love to live here, move to Hollywood, become movie star. Why am I not surprised? I would need money. You could help me. You could get me record deal with Web of Music. Yes. And you could let me help with sales of the anti-piracy program. This could be just between me and you. You could give me the program master that you're carrying. Why do have to register to get an actual copy? Why would I carry the program with me? I guess you're right. You like me, don't you? You like a lot. I'm very fond of you. Why? Well, if you love me, then you will do this for me. I didn't say I love you. I said I'm fine. That's what you've got right now. Then you will not help me. I didn't say that. Sure. Let's see what I can do. I had chats with Comrade Torshev. Wildly amusing, was it? <laughs> Survived his magician career for Onion Dome show tonight. Perhaps he's also a mind reader. She somehow shares an opinion of yours. On where the program master is? Good. We'll see what he makes of that possibility. Reservation for Uncle Stanley. Remember? Yes. <laughs> I am so excited. the last day with where with all sales why not well, there is one cell which you could bring in if you don't mind me saying so in your sleep <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed Anya's a minx Chris I think she means in a chunk it could be ready to buy whatever it is that you're selling in fact onion dome could be a really big client for where with this program it has such broad foreign market penetration where with all maybe right now 
That reminds me, Mr. Silverman wants you to keep your phone on. He knows I'm on the job. What's up? He's out of sorts, griping about his R&D guys, being a pain about security protocols. He wants you available for instructions until you get back to the office. If there are any instructions, I'll have to hear them from Mr. Silverman himself. You understand? <laughs> I certainly do. That's the idea with your cell phone on. How about a drink? How about the first round? You two have a good evening. And yeah, I think I mentioned my hobby. It has to do with Russian family? Yes, and with history. And also, in a way, with my current activities. In public relations? <laughs> International public relations, yes. May I show you an antique photo? Interesting. Please do. What on earth are you doing with picture of my great-grandmother? <laughs> You're kidding, of course. You just think I asked me about the program master that I'm carrying. Why does she think I have it? Probably because her chef searched my room and come find it. You didn't tell me that. My room was searched as well. Better than amateur job. So that's why she thinks I have it on me. She knows about the searches. She's drawing a logical conclusion. But being in the center, she shouldn't do that because it confuses you. What if Horses tries to take it away from you? I don't want that. It might really hurt him. Don't be upset. He ain't going to do anything. Horseshev is the world's tallest meadow mouse. Comrade Tyranov. Great news. In a couple of days, I will have all the secrets to the Central Economic Committee. Unbelievable, I know. But trust me when I say nothing is impossible for Enosenka Donover. Next, Horshev and I will make play for Program Master. But don't worry, I have another foolproof plan. In a couple of days, you will have your program. You will know I'm great spy. And you'll put more promotional effort behind CDs, no? Yes. <laughs> Many thanks, you're loyal in Asenka. Your joke is wild. He hasn't even seen my queen. She's mean. Love gambler, casino rambler. Tonight's the night, I'll say it. Love Gambler, understand it's not the game, it's how you play it. Gambling on love, my love, let's roll the dice. Gambling on love, love me once, love me twice. Love gambler, when I deal, standing pat won't save you. Love gambler, if you spin my wheel, black or red will enslave you. You won't know where you'll land. You're gonna want another hand. You're gonna need another hand to handle me. And now, I'll be genius and show you a lighting trick. Please!
Vamos. Vamos where? Meu Deus. Vamos, Sofinho. Would you guys have somewhere you need to be? A show, maybe? Vamos. Vamos. There is only one thing to say. Tonight has been spectacular success. You? You couldn't even get your boyfriend to stay through the show. He was supposed to sit still while you pickpocket him? No, I don't think so. The conference ends tomorrow, and Comrade Tiranov knows it. And we are running out of time, Inosenka. That's right. So you better thank your lucky stars that I, Inosenka Donover, have a plan. Oh my god. Such a torture. Please, don't tell me. No! Listen, Comrade Horshev. This plan is brilliant. Foolproof. <sighs> okay. Give me a ray of hope so that I can avoid ruin. Say your plan. You have to arrange to have me kidnapped. For ransom, Christopher Anderson has to hand over Program Master. He'll do it. He's in love with me. This is the stupidest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> hmm. What time? By 2 p.m. Set it up and you'll see Christopher Anderson is putty in my hands. Yes, Mr. Silverman. What can I do for you? Last day of the TNA conference, right? And finally, an exec from the major studio sits down with our top salesman. One of the big five. Gigantic money, if you follow. And, and that putz, that, 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 that SOB, that, that, that moron, that, that, that twit, that lawyer, won't sit down and buy out one of our programs unless he has a one-to-one -one demo and sees that the frigging program is frigging friendly. So what would you like me to do? Leave the little package in the desk drawer. Um, leave your key card out and, and Tinderfell will supervise the rest. It'll be done. Thank you, sir. Mr. Tinderfall, I've spoken with Mr. Silverman. In half an hour, I'll leave an envelope for you at the front desk. It's been fun. Where have you been hiding? We'll get to that part. Who's talking? Where is Inisenka? <laughs> we got her right here, this lovely abandoned church. And you could be? Let's see what you could be. Where have you got? Let's say you could be the guy that saves her. The guy that pays the ransom. Now, I'll tell you what we want. Hey, hold on. I need proof. Put her on the phone so I can hear her voice. Christopher! My darling, please! They have me tied up. Come quickly. Miss Senka, do you know where you are? No, but I do. Now here's how it's going to go down. You bring the, uh, that master program from Wherewithal Music and ten thousand dollars in cash. Ten thousand? That's ridiculous, buddy. There's a casino downstairs, but I'm not about to rob it. 
Then bring as much as you can, and it better be good. You come alone, and if there is even a hint of cops, well, you know how that goes. I'll call you back and tell you where. I'll come alone. Don't worry. We have to make this look convincing. Looks for me. Ask my Laza for more money when we've already given you some. You would risk the entire plan. Shut your mouth about my bonus or I'll shut it for you. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to make a phone call to Mr. Stupid. Who is this? A guy who got involved with you. Make sure he goes to Mr. Tinderfall. Of course. Where's your friend? Roger? No. The redhead. Oh. Hopefully away from you. You better really think who you're dealing with, friend. I'm so scared. You brought any other toys to play with them now? Bad idea. Sure. What else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's 
Do you have to call the police? Nobody got hurt. You sure? Oh, yeah. The less publicity, the better for us back in Russia. I think I know what you mean. Buy you a quick drink. I have something you really must see. What are you doing in Mr. Anderson's room? Yeah. Yeah. Mission accomplished, I'd say. This little lady here has entertained us, but still lived up to her innocent name. And what do you think Silverman's gonna say? I'll find out. I'll call him and give him the news. Don't bother, I already did. He'll see you both the minute you walk back to Roger's office. You mean, if I still have an office? <laughs> Roger, fine. We followed instructions and Silverman knows it. He gets the best people and gets the best out of them. You met his R&D stuff. The Gang of Two? Sure. Do you think there's any chance they're not already putting the finishing touches on Wherewithal's anti-piracy program 2.0? Of course, they... they must be. Alright. Time to say goodbye, everyone. Where is Mikhail, the magnificent magician Hushev? <laughs> he managed to get early a flight. But he sends his regards. It was a pleasure to meet you, Inosenka. You are truly talented. Yes, good luck, Miss Donna. I foresee a fabulous career for you, Inosenka. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so grateful for your kind words. I hope you all have happy lives. People to see and places to go. Righto. Well, kids, I'm moving to L.A. I've taken a job with my old friend Ira at Famous Gradients Agency. I'll be running the Variety Artist Department there. I'm looking for my own personal chauffeur and executive assistants. Uh, Inosenka, that's you if you want it. I've also hired the Duarez brothers to take care of all sorts of things. They'll become my first big stars with their flamenco act. Cool. And then Inosenka gets to choose. If she doesn't want to go off to Wall Street to conquer Wall Street, then she can stay in L.A. and become my next big star. What do you say? <laughs> you made me the happiest girl in the world. Well, I guess I've done my part. Thank you, Uncle Stanley. Thank you for a truly great job. I'm back, nephew. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, let's you and I go and celebrate at the Paris. Honey, you'll drive. Then will I see you again? You think you've got a new career and a new life with Uncle Stanley. 
You might meet again sometime soon. Who knows? Hurry off. Uncle Stanley's waiting. <laughs> about the program master. As you can imagine, things go complicated. Well, stuff happens. You know, I worked for the government long enough to develop not a second sight, but a second sense of smell. And you think that's helpful in search and rescue? Useful in fish utility detection. What are you getting at, Anderson? This was a setup. You wanted that program stolen. Well, what are you saying? I'm saying that you and I were set up. Used as puppets to make sure this program was worth stealing. You used us as bait? Mr. Softman, I can't believe you do this to us. Oh, Roger. You'll be well compensated in your next paycheck. You could have just told us, like, we can keep a secret. Bandersten Ops rule number one. Information only on a need-to-know basis. Apparently, I didn't need to know. Right. But you, Anderson, you were too well trained. You wouldn't let it leave your side. Having said that, I gather a little pretty Russian spy got the inside track. That's what I wanted her to think. And then they found out they couldn't risk stealing it from us without some national, international incident. Well, give us our prize. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> what just happened? Shut down everything and reboot. What the devil? Do you think we've been just... What do you mean? At the conference, the tech people showed a worm. A malware worm just went through our entire system. I paid that Ziki that 300,000 US for something that's destroyed our company. Uh, do you think he had any idea what's on the flash drive? I don't think anybody did. Except Silverman. It's a crazy place, crazy country. Stay here in the States, Anya. You know you want to. But how can I? I must go back. If I know your boss, what's the point? Hmm? Come with me to Washington. I can arrange it all. Whether or not you want to work intelligence for me. And yes, I do want something in return. I know. <laughs> do you? <laughs> I want to hear you say what I want. A DNA sample? Yes. We'll tell no one, but I believe that you are all that remains alive of Imperial Russia. <laughs> All the world has left of Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs>